Hey everyone! Welcome to my channel where I share the latest news and updates on your favorite TV shows. Today, I'm going to talk about Heartland, the longest-running family drama in Canadian television history. Heartland has been on the air since 2007, and it has captivated millions of fans around the world with its heartwarming stories of love, family, and horses. The show is based on the best-selling book series by Lauren Brooke, and it follows the lives of Amy Fleming, Amber Marshall, and her family, who run a horse ranch called Heartland in the Alberta foothills. Heartland has just finished filming its 17th season, which will be the final season of the show. The first episode of season 17 will be the 250th episode of the series, which is an amazing achievement. The new season is expected to premiere in Canada on CBC in October 2023, and in other countries later on. But what can we expect from the final season of Heartland? What will happen to Amy and her family? What challenges and adventures will they face? And how will the show end? Well, according to the official website of Heartland, Season 17 will be all about embracing the unexpected. It will be about new experiences and taking the path less traveled. In Season 17, the Bartlett Fleming family will find themselves excited for the future and ready to embrace new adventures, challenges, and relationships. But no matter how much things may change, Amy, Lou, Michelle Morgan, Jack, Sean Johnston, and Tim, Chris Potter, will continue to fight for what they believe in while staying rooted in the land that has been in their family for generations. Some of the cast members have also shared their thoughts on starting production on the new season of Heartland. Amber Marshall, who plays Amy, said that she is proud to be part of 250 episodes of Heartland, and that she can't imagine a better group of people to create something so special to. Michelle Morgan, who plays Lou, said that Heartland's longevity is due to a perfect alchemy of all the most important elements in television, such as a good story engine, great chemistry between the actors, a stunning and unique setting, and a multi-generational appeal. Sean Johnston, who plays Jack, said that working on Heartland has been the greatest gift in his professional lifetime, and that he is honored, humbled, and privileged to be Jack Bartlett. Chris Potter, who plays Tim, said that Heartland has become a dream and a way of life for many of them involved in its ongoing creation. As for some sneak peeks behind the scenes of season 17, we know that Chris Potter and Michelle Morgan have both directed some episodes of the final season one. Chris has been directing episodes of Heartland since season 3 and Michelle since season 16. We also know that there will be a lot of beautiful scenes with horses in season 17, as we have seen some photos of Blue, Buddy, Champ, Shadow, Spartan, Theo, and Harley on set one. They are all having lots of fun and looking gorgeous. But what about some spoilers for season 17? Well, we don't have much information yet, but we can speculate based on some clues from season 16. For example, we know that Amy and Ty, Graham Mortal, have decided to move back to Heartland with their daughter Lindy after spending some time in Mongolia 3. We also know that Lou has broken up with Mitch, Kevin McGarry, after realizing that she still loves Scott, Nathaniel Arkin. We also know that Georgie, Alisha Newton, has returned from Europe with a new boyfriend named Quinn, Michael Esarubio, who is a famous show jumper. And we also know that Jack has proposed to Lisa, Jessica Steen, who has accepted his proposal. So what does this mean for season 17? Well, we can expect to see how Amy and Ty adjust to their new life at Heartland and how they balance their work and family responsibilities. We can also expect to see how Lou deals with her feelings for Scott and whether they will get back together or not. We can also expect to see how Georgie's relationship with Quinn evolves and whether they will face any challenges or conflicts. And we can also expect to see how Jack and Lisa plan their wedding and whether they will have any surprises or complications. Thanks for watching, please like, share, and give feedback.